Good morning. Hello. Hello, hi, me. Hello, hi, me. Give me a minute. I need to start. I need to check on some uh, technicals. Thank you for coming. Nice to see you again. Kumusta po? Mabuti naman. Mabuti, mabuti, mabuti. Maganda ang mood. Maganda ang mood. Maganda ang mood ni Mayora. That's how Filipinos say it. Uh, when we make fun of ourselves, Mayora, Mayor, Mayor of town, maganda ang mood ni Mayora, something like that. But we were just uh, uh, fooling each, each other, uh, joking at ourselves, making fun of ourselves. But yeah, thank you for coming. And did you eat? Kumain ka na? Kumain ka na? Hang on, let me let me check some some screens. I need to I need to make sure that this is okay. Maybe okay. No. <laughs> How are you too? Salamat Jaime for coming. I missed you, but it's all right. At least you come once in a while. That's good. Did you? Did you watch my previous video or videos? I hope you do on your spare time. On your spare time. And also, hi, me. I know that you submitted to me your email and I'm monitoring what's going on on what's next. I, I wonder if you have difficulty signing up. I mean, like, I'm, I have given you your username and password. Yes, please refer, er, please refer to your inbox. If, did you find your password and email uh, or username, I mean? And then after that, there's, there was another email that I sent to you. Instructions how to get to the app how to access the app or if not if you are using a desktop or laptop that's fine also you get to your browser you type on the site and uh, you get there and uh, i i didn't see you uh, get to the site itself but others were there already i need you to sign i need you to get there so that I can enroll you. It's the process. It takes a li uh, some little steps. Steps. So, if I've seen you logged on, then that's the time when I would enroll you in the course. Tell me. I like to hear from you about that. And should you have difficulty, let's talk about it. Okay. Okay. So welcome uh, to. Other than Jaime, hello, how are you? Other people with me here, thank you for coming and I hope you are doing good. Uh, I hope that you are just feeling relaxed. Uh, grab a cup of coffee if, it's, if you feel like having a coffee today. My coffee is right there. I bet it's already cold, <laughs> not hot anymore. And uh, if not coffee, any kind of drinks that that you want could be red wine, right? Or could be what? White wine, what? Or any kind of cocktail, could be uh, what else? Water, tea, grab it because maybe we will be here for about an hour. I have materials, I have lots of slides prepared for you today. And I'm sure you will like it. Yes, and I like I'm I'm having fun preparing all your lectures. All all this uh, content that we will be talking about. Yes, this is a series of uh, tutorial for us, right? Anyone else please type in your your kumusta, you say kumusta or you say good morning, magandang umaga, America, magandang gabi, Pilipinas, Taiwan, Hong Kong, what else, uh, 
Masayang madaling araw New Zealand and Australia. Somebody from New Zealand wanted to show up to come with me uh, live, but we are happening right now when it's there 2:30. What? Midnight, 2:30 a.m. <laughs> okay, so I hope that he or anyone from Australia and New Zealand will be playing back this video and where who else are here where is sub sub hello india hello sub i hope you are doing good tell me what's going on yes and yes again hi may i'd like to thank you for your activity for helping sick people keep it up and uh, stay safe take care take care of yourself Okay, so it's 10.38 my time, so we are 8 minutes past. Attendance checking, or what? Shall we get started? Are you ready? Hey, Bruce, are you with me? Please see, tell me if my audio is good. It's very important to have good audio. Good audio. Yes. I'm thinking of playing music as we start. I have not uh, chosen any other upbeat music. Maybe next session there will be music here when we start. Yes, and we'll be bouncy, bouncy like that. <laughs> yes, and yeah, okay, and okay, let's start. Is that it? Shall we start? Yeah, and yes, the uh, well before we start, I like I really like to to tell my viewers that we are starting. We will be starting our um, online course. So I'm not uh, promoting it that much yet because this is just for limited number of users, and uh, this is just a. Uh, this is a brand new project for us. So online course is a self-paced uh, online course that you would be able to access it via app. So it will run on your gadget or if not gadget, yes, a uh, laptop and the desktop will do on browser. And yes, and it's kind of going to be like a private community. It's just really about uh, plain teaching and learning and so I will I am there with you and it's very structured you start off from level one until you progress up high high from level one you get to level two and you will get badges and you will get um, grades I will be grading you will submit your activities you will submit your quizzes you will submit your essays sometimes you will submit your audio recorded audio how is that Jaime I hope you are I hope you are following Jaime and I hope I hope you are excited about that. I'm, I am excited. I'm still working on it, really. After this uh, YouTube, I will be working on more of contents. It's, it's, it's really just a, a project in progress. Yes, yes. And uh, I shall mention, it's a Tagalog with Albine on Moodle. Moodle. OK, now let's proceed with our lecture. Thank you, Bruce, for saying that audio is good. Thank you, baby. Just relax. Stay with me. Okay. And this one. Is this it? This one. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay. So, let me see this one. Okay. Ha. Ah. Tagalog with Albine today, welcome, and let's get started. It's already 10.40, 10 minutes has passed since I started. How to construct Tagalog interrogative statement? Uh, interrogative or asking questions. How to ask questions in Filipino or in Tagalog, right? I like my, yeah, so I like my flowers to be on camera. Okay, so now our uh, specific topic is about ilan or 
How many? Ilan? So this is a series of interrogative uh, uh, statements for us. Okay, now let's move on to our slides. Let's see. Let's see. This one. Is it this one? This one. What? I'm, there's lots of uh, screens that I need to configure. I hope this is, this is the one. Let me see. Check. Let me check. And let me s check my my gadget if it's working on here. Ah, okay. I like to find out if I'm on a proper screen. Browser, browser. M let me see, am I lost? I hope I'm not lost. I must be on my slides. Okay, here, is that it? Because it's difficult on my part here when I am uh, operating technicals and sometimes I keep on talking and talking and my sli slides, my screen is in that good, uh, it is not in proper, it's not in proper setting. So I need, I need to find out, is this it? Let me see if I'm on the right screen. I must be showing you this one. Is it showing? Let's find out. So interrogative is sentences. I hope you are looking at the same slides that I'm looking at. Uh, first is uh, mga patanong na pangungusap. Let me check my control. Okay, I think I'm doing good. I'm doing okay. Okay, so mga patanong. So in the previous uh, live stream, we already have done ano, which is what. We already have done sino, we already which is who. We already have done um, saan. Uh, which is uh, where is the or something something like that which is where also or nasaan where at and then we have already done kailan last uh, last sunday that was last sunday and now we will move on to ilan or how many and of course, as you can see here on in this screen, uh, after how many, we will be talking about magkano, which is how much. Later, we will be talking about bakit, which is why. And then paano, which is how. And then gaano, something more and more, 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 more lessons for us. Okay, and I hope you don't miss any of this, okay? Mm, now let's move to next slide okay uh, review of last Sunday's uh, or previous episode it this was not last last week this happened last week or noong isang linggo noong isang linggo so you will use the word noong if you're talking about past the the, the the event or the time that happened in the past. This, the topic kailan, uh, was discussed noong isang linggo. Okay, kailan. So it, if you remember, it requires a response pertaining to a time or period that an event will happen or has happened. Uh, my concern back then, I've been presenting to you like event that will happen later or in the future and then event that will have that has happened already in the past of course but sometimes sometimes kailan also uh, uh, needs a response that's pertaining to present present but it's not always the time right right because you would not ask kailan if you don't if you don't if you're not aware that it's, if you are aware that it is happening today, again, I'll, <laughs> I'll say it again. You don't need to ask kailan if you are already aware that it's happening today, right? I hope it makes sense to you. Okay, it's just a review and let's move on to our 
uh, subject matter for today, right? Let me see again, uh, chat, 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 chat. How many viewers? Thank you for being here. And let me see. Okay, Jaime. Jaime just said, okay. Yes, we are good. And then, then so this one. Oop. Yeah, uh, Ilan in English is how many? How many? Okay, next, next slide. Okay, example. Okay, so if you see this, uh, the, this, this, um, let me uh, configure my marker. Yeah, this symbol is for Tagalog. It's, uh, it, this symbol is on, in like here in my, well, this one. <laughs> If you can see it here, uh, the Philippine flag, the figure in the Philippine flag, the sun. It means Tagalog, right? Okay, in Tagalog, you would ask, Ilan ang pasahero? Ilan ang pasahero? Yes. Also, you would say, Ilan ang mga pasahero? Ilan ang mga pasahero? Later, I will, t I will, uh, let's do this one. Okay, now. Ilan ang pasahero? Ilan ang mga pasahero? In English, they say it like, how many are the passengers? How many are the passengers? So somebody who is asking, uh, assuming it, that uh, the number of passengers are many, more than one, more than one. But in Tagalog, we usually, we usually just say, ilan ang pasahero? Um, so, literally, pasahero is singular. But if you are asking, ilan ang pasahero? We don't, uh, you see, if you are aware that plural form in uh, Tagalog means, um, you have like the line here, ilan ang mga pasahero? How is it? I have to read this one. This means plural, plural, okay? And then, Tagalog, you can just say, ilan ang pasahero, which also indirectly referring to one, more than one passengers. But yeah, if I think it's also just fine. You would say, ilan ang mga pasahero if you are expecting more than one passengers. Ilan ang pasahero? Ilan ang mga pasahero? How many are the passengers? Passengers, like, oh, I'm thinking we are, for example, in a jeepney. Jeepney, how many passengers in the jeepney? If you are commuting, if you are taking uh, public transportation, or also, for example, if you are island hopping from one ferry to another, oh, met from if you take the ferry and then you you hop from one island to another, like from Boracay, before you get to Boracay, you need you from Manila, you get to the airport, uh, airport to airport in uh, what? Antique in Aklan, and then and then you have to take a ferry uh, going to Boracay. So you're talking about a ferry. Ilan ang pasahero ng ferry? Ilan ang pasahero ng boat? Ilan ang pasahero? How many are the passengers? How many are the passengers? Next slide. Let's do it. Another example here. Yes, yeah, so we are talking about a um, group of people uh, in certain event, in certain activity, or could be like, ilan ang biktima? Ilan ang biktima? Ilan ang mga biktima? If you are thinking of a plural, no? If you are just thinking of just one person, or you just say, ilan ang biktima? Oh, Two. Oh, it, it must be ilan ang mga biktima. Okay. Na, so, and what it is in English, it means how many are the victims? How many are the victims? So, again, uh, this symbol is tag for Tagalog line. And then this symbol, this picture is for English. English. Okay. Statue of Liberty for English. Ilan ang biktima? Ilan ang mga biktima? 
we are asking we are talking of how to use how many how many okay and then more examples oh no this is ilan ang and then fill in the blank like paciente patients right so these days uh, in the hospital victims of uh, COVID-19 something like that ilan ang biktima ng COVID-19 ilan ang biktima also ilan ang pasyente pasyente patients or if you are talking about us here in this uh, activity we are doing ilan ang estudyante ilan ang estudyante students or if you are gathering together in a party or something or conference you would ask ilan ang lamesa ilan ang lamesa you're referring to table right or yeah if it's a dining uh, kind of meeting dinner meeting lunch meeting ilan ang lamesa ilan ang upuan how many are the chairs okay so i hope you appreciate that you appreciate this one very simple just remember this format and let's see okay some more more example later the format will come ilan so previously we were talking about ilan ang and then it's followed by noun this time ilan ang we will be talking about verbs action words right ilan ang namatay so it's still thinking of a covid 19 victims or what or sometimes you would think of an accident something like that so i cannot help it for uh, this uh, kind of example is quite uh, like what quite uh, scary or quite uh, sad but yeah this is just example right so now for example in an accident or yeah let's talk let's talk about accident that happened like highway highway accident or in the philippines sometimes accidents happen uh, at the sea in the sea like ferries right oh ilan ang namatay ilan ang namatay so how many are dead or something like that namatay dead or passed away namatay dead passed away also if you are talking of accident you can also use the word namatay if it is killed by an accident right killed by an accident but if the next line here namatay in tagalog refers to both ways passed away or dead and then killed in an accident but there is another word pinatay pinatay so this means uh, intentionally killed like massacre murder something like that if that if the news article is like that uh, pinatay killed so using gun or whatever or whatever deadly weapons right pinatay namatay i hope you are not confused but it's all right if you are still confused because these are verbs uh, quite difficult but get used to hear it for now let me see if you have question please please uh, feel free to write your questions and later i will be um, constantly checking on your in this uh, chat chat box if there's question i'll be happy to answer your questions right away and yes and tell me the, um, if um, if my uh, lecture is uh, clear you type malinaw malinaw and then if bad just say hindi malinaw right malinaw malinaw if it's you appreciate it you understand it hindi malinaw if you are confused okay next ah uh, nanganak okay this again we I, I as i was writing these slides i was uh, thinking of uh, events in the hospital right ilan ang nanganak how many gave birth ilan ang nanganak okay ilan ang nakaligtas ilan ang nakaligtas how many were saved 
how many were saved so these are verbs so mostly the verbs were in a uh, past tense form past tense namatay pinatay nanganak nakaligtas another example let's have this okay ilan ang again and then followed by something this case ilan ang dumalo ilan ang dumalo so dumalo refers to, uh, in english is attended how many attended ilan ang dumalo sa kasal mo how many attended your wedding <clears throat> ilan ang dadalo sa birthday party mo <clears throat> dadalo is future tense will attend right ilan ang dumalo past tense ilan ang dadalo that's future tense <coughs> hang on excuse me i need my coffee sorry excuse me for that next example <coughs> ilan ang umayaw ilan ang umayaw so you are thinking of invitation and then for some reason people uh, rejected your invitation how many said no umayaw or unwilling how many are unwilling umayaw umayaw who said no or if you yeah or if you are proposing you're looking for a partner in life how many times you receive uh, no no how many girls uh, said no to you how many girls said no to you so far how right so i hope not much i hope not plenty <laughs> okay ilan ang umayaw how many are unwilling Next, ilan ang sasama? Ilan ang sasama? Sasama means go with or who will join? How many will join? Sasama. How many will join? Join or go with? Ilan ang ilan ang uh, sumama? Ilan ang sumama? It's past tense. Uh, joined or went with, right? Joined went with next ilan ang nakaligtas i already mentioned this previous the previous slide ilan ang nakaligtas saved right so these are verbs more next slide okay this time uh, we will mix the tagalog and english right it's possible it's possible to mix Tagalog and English. It's here for English speakers to appreciate Tagalog. Ilan ang nagperform? Ilan ang nagperform? So that means it's past tense. You're refer referring to performed that happened in the past. This is the past tense. This is the future tense. I hope you see me on camera. Ilan ang nagperform? Ilan ang nagperform? A mix of English and Tagalog is these prefixes must be separated from the English word so that's why I use I use dash to 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 separate English and Tagalog nag dash perform ilan ang nag perform um dash umatend ilan ang umatend I hope you appreciate that make it your practice it's acceptable ilan ang a attend so a attend is all it means uh, present tense so this is my present tense here ilan ang a attend ilan ang a attend uh, this is future tense future tense past tense future tense past tense future tense ilan ang a attend ilan ang a attend ilan ang nag church ilan ang nag church how many went to church how many went to church what about future tense of uh, nag church mag church it's quite complicated but maybe we will we will have more of it later right we will have more of it later i'm not uh, my, my uh, flow is not about verbs yet so later about verb right okay so now let take note of the format take note of the format ilan ang 
and then followed by noun singular and then ilan ang followed ilan ang mga followed by noun plural ilan ang followed by verb whether let's let's just focus on uh, on past tense and future tense this time yet okay ilan ang okay to make it simple and let me see this one i have prepared something let me see oh, ilan ang ilan ang oh maybe later i'll just have it later next let's do this more example another ilan ang mga paamo ilan ang mga paamo so now we are referring to body parts ilan ang mga paamo what is that what does how do you say that in english how many are your feet how many are your feet ilan ang mga paamo you take note of this ilan is how many and then are of course mga or ang mga and then paa is get gets here paa and then mo here right ilan ang mga paa mo and then in english they said your feet paa mo your feet paa was mentioned fit first in in english a uh, fit was mentioned last so that's the difference right let's see another example ilan so this is the format ilan and then followed by things and then owner who is the owner of those things example ilan ang sapatos mm, maybe let's have okay let's do it this way let me continue sapatos means ilan ang sapatos niya niya the other person niya ilan ang sapatos nila nila more than one person not you not me other people niya nila 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 okay plural ilan ang sapatos natin natin means you and me and also possibly you me and other people ilan ang sapatos natin all of us right so this now this is about nouns you see um, it's important really to understand verbs uh, nouns this time here and uh, pronouns i mean pronouns also right another example ilan ang pera mo ilan ang pera mo mo you money pera ilan ang pera niya ilan ang pera nila other people ilan ang pera natin us you me and other people ilan ang pera ilan uh yeah i that's this is with, with regards to pera of course and you are talking about value it could be the answer would be 200 300 right but um sometimes well magkano mag magkano is another thing i think this is another topic about money and numbers it says i'm disconnected it says my internet is i'm disconnected and i'm reconnecting oh okay now i'm reconnecting oh uh, next ilan ang sasakyan so again you have to choose among the pronouns of whoever is the owner of the car sasakyan is vehicle ilan ang sasakyan mo ilan ang sasakyan niya ilan ang sasakyan natin ilan ang sasakyan nila Il sasakyan koche is car ilan ang koche ilan ang ang car ilan ang bahay anak mo anak ilan ang anak mo son or daughter ilan ang anak mo okay okay i think let's do it this way i like to present to you this one i have new screen for you i hope this is this is fine let's find a i have one screen for you 
charm board. This one. I like to present this one. Okay, let's do this uh, some kind of... Uh, this is new. I, I actually tried this one. I hope this is uh, fun. So we have this Ilan. I hope it's on the screen. Let's find out. Ilan Ang. Ang. Later. This one is late. Would, would get later. And then let's talk about... Um, yeah, Bahay. Ilan Ang Bahay Natin. Yeah, ilan ang bahay natin, right? This means um, natin, you and me, okay? You, me, and our children, natin, okay? Also, you can say, ilan ang bahay niya? Ilan ang bahay niya? So, uh, this is new and I, I bet this is fun and you know this is uh, this is Google we thank Google for this and it's we are have access to this one and this can be interactive right Jaime if you have Google, uh, Google Gmail account and you can get explore uh, jam board jam board and then yes and you we can do this together I bet and this would be fun. We do it together. If you, other than Jaime, please let's come together and let's do it. This, this is fun this way, right? So, ilan ang bahay niya? Ilan ang bahay? This is niya, right? Ilan ang bahay nila? And then, ilan ang bahay mo, right? And then, of course, you can also replace bahay with anak ilan ang anak mo and then uh, of course instead of mo you would say ilan ang anak nila couple your friend you know both of them right and then you have uh, whatever you can just replace it right ilan ang pera do you think it's fun I hope you appreciate what I'm doing here and I, I hope I wish to, to, for us to get together really to get together and we we do this like we are playing pera ilan ang pera ilan ang sapatos right and then it's up to you just fill in how, what you want next right and then let's talk about uh, the let's it's difficult when you have to 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 uh, reset the uh, screens. Okay, let's proceed. Ilan ang pakpak? Ilan ang pakpak? Pakpak means wings, wings. Ilan ang pakpak nang nang let's say uh, let's say ibon. Ilan ang pakpak ng ibon? I hope you follow. Please, let me see. Comment down. What is your reaction? Gusto ko yan. Jam board. Gusto nyo ba tong jam board? Do you like this jam board thing? Ilan ang pakpak ng ibon? Pakpak wings. 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 Of course, two. Ilan ang pakpak ng hipon hipon is shrimp shrimp is there a uh, wings to a sh to a uh, hipon no no there's no none wala wala ilan ang pakpak ng pusa none uh, a cat has no wings right like okay pusa and then let's exchange it uh, with ilan ang puso ng pusa is that fun so puso is heart ilan ang puso ng pusa what is the answer one only ilan ang ulo ulo ng pusa something Ilan ang mata ng pusa? Something, right? Ilan ang what is the what? 
Ilan ang paa? There must be paa here. Uh, let's see. Let, let me make it a duplicate. Huh? Duplicate. How to duplicate this one? Duplicate. And then let's edit this one. I have to edit. Uh, let me say paa. Paa is foot or feet. Paa. Mga paa. Feet. Paa. Foot. Ilan ang paa ng pusa? Ilan ang paa ng pusa? Your answer is four. Ilan ang paa ng ibon? Ilan ang paa ng ibon? It's bird. Uh, is, your answer is two. Ilan ang paa ng hipon? I don't know. There are lots, right? There are lots. Okay, so next. Ibon po sa ilan ang mata, ilan ang pakpak, ilan ang pakpak ng isda. Okay, imagine that if uh, a fish has the... Oh, there's no fish here. Let's duplicate this one. Uh, duplicate. Uh, isda, fish. Fish, fish. I add it. Isda, fish. Here. Is there uh, wings to a uh, fish? <laughs> okay, so look, uh, I hope you like it. And then, yeah, uh, let's, let's go back to, let's go back, go back to my uh, other slide, right? So next, Jamboard is very good. Thank you, baby. Yes, and I hope I would be more creative more creative yes and uh, you tell me we can do it together like where we are live streaming i will have you do it and yes hi may i hope you enjoy it i hope you're still here and whoever are still here um tell me tell me and that's why i'm getting excited i'm learning new things and i really need to study other technology other tools for this one something new Okay, now, now let's get in. Let's get to to browser. And then I need to change my browser content, which is, I hope I'm not lost. This one. This one, so browser, and then we do it. Let's do this one. Oop. Are we here? Pronouns. Let me see this one. Anak. Okay. Mo. Yeah. Let's talk about pronouns. It's ka, mo, ka, mo, ka. In this, uh, in this uh, topic about ilan, ka is not always used or could have could be never used in ilan. Just always use the word the mo which means you, you, or sometimes mo also of yours. You think of mo as of yours, of yours. And also niya is his or her, nila is theirs, natin is ours or of ours. I bet to English speakers, mo and natin are quite difficult. Let's let's do it. I, I hope I will be able to help you understand it. But repetition, repetition is the key, right? That's why this is a practice. Ilan ang paanang isda? So that was my example in the Jamboard. Ilan ang mga paanang isda if you refer to plural? Okay, how many are the feet of? Oh, this is it, is what I'm telling you, right? Between uh, translating English to Tagalog. Okay, ilan ang paa ng mga isda or ilan ang mga paa? So, the, the ilan is how many and then feet and then here. So, literally, you will, the, uh, you will uh, translate it. Ilan ang mga paa ng mga isda? Translate it like how many are the feet of the fish? How many are the feet of the fish? Paa ng mga isda. But English, my husband says, you don't, 
you don't the English doesn't um, doesn't uh, arrange it that way how many feet the fishes have how many feet the fishes have can we can we do it in Jamboard or maybe later because maybe I have another example next next Okay, so these are these are uh, my vocabulary our vocabulary for today Ebon is bird Pusa is cat is the fish Pusit Pugita Pusit Pusit is squid Pugita octopus Hippon shrimp Okay, maybe we want the jam board again. What is in here? Oh, le yeah, let's do jam board. Uh, example was previous slide. Uh, let's do what was that? Yeah, let's do this on jam board. How many are the feet of the fish? Ilan ang paanang mga isda? Okay, let's do it. Jamboard. I need to pick Jamboard. That. Let's go back. Ah, uh, where is it? Ilan ang paa ng isda. Okay, so how do ilan ang paa paa ng isda? This example. So how does let's have a um, sticky note. Sticky note. Uh, how many? How many? Yeah, in English. How many are? Uh, how many? What is it in ilan ang paanang is da? What is it in English? How to say it? How many are? How many da? How many feet? How many feet? How many feet, and then uh, how many feet the fish the fish have the fishes plural. So I'm also learning English here. Cancel. Okay. Next, how many in English? How many feet the fishes have? Right. This is how you say it in English. Ilan ang paanang isda? How many feet the fishes have? Is that it? So how do you say it in English? How many? Let me see my slide. How many feet the fishes have? Right? How many feet the fish? Ilan ang paa ng isda? Okay. Well, next slide. Let's say uh, talk about uh Let's talk about a car, then car door, pinto ng koche. Ilan ang pinto ng koche? Pinto is door. Let's talk about that. So, this is English. How many feet the fishes have? Paa. Let's uh, have a... Uh, oh, I don't have door and I don't have car here. Let's say... I have to edit this one. Ilan ang Ilan ang pinto 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 is door. How many doors? How many doors the car? No, this one. Car. Car. Okay, please be patient with me for my example, but I really want to 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 show you the difference. How many are? I have to edit also this one. Edit. Uh, how many are? This is how you say it in English. How many are cars? Let's edit this like door. Our cars doors plural right is that how you say it in English how many are cars door right ilan ang how many how many are how many are 
cars, doors. In, in Tagalog, it's ilan ang pinto ng isda. Right? I hope you follow. And you see, you see in English, they mention car first. Oh, what? Ilan ang pinto ng isda? No, this is wrong. Let's edit it. Let's say this is, uh, ilan ang pinto ng kotse? Kotse. <laughs> this is fun and uh, confusing to me. And <laughs> right? I hope you are doing good. We are doing fine. Ilan ang pinto ng kotse? In English, the way you say it, how many are cars doors? So, English mention coche first or car before the door. You see the difference? I'll have my pen. Where's the pen here? Let's have the pen. Uh, let's do, no, I want green. Green and I want this one. So, car is this one, right? And then door is here. How is that? That's how English works. And this is how Tagalog works. So please don't get confused. <laughs> Ilan ang pinto ng kotse? How many are cars doors? Right? And then make nang. You need the linker. Nang. Pinto ng kotse. This, I, I like to say that nang means of the of the uh, let have a sticky note a sticky note uh, let's say this one Oop. Ah, please be patient with me about my <laughs> let's do erase this one I erase Jamboard is it I hope you are with me on Jamboard <laughs> okay and so nang let's talk about nang nang means uh, of the I would say of of the but you do it I think in English you don't say it that much how many doors of the car something nang so if you if you um, <laughs> this if you do it this way like that how many doors of the cars nang this one nang of the i hope you appreciate english speakers i hope this is helpful to you nang means of the doors of the cars right please remember that so tagalog we say pinto nang koche literally you will translate it doors of the car the car no apostrophe here i think i have to doors of no, viewers i have i want to have plenty of viewers hello for viewers thank you and yeah tell me if i'm doing right and if we have more of jamboard and uh, let's do jamboard together okay next next slide let's do switch screen i am very techy this time so i'm using obs studio to have all these screens that we need and sometimes i get confused <laughs> sometimes i get confused and i get messed up but please be patient with me now let's do switch slides or screen i need i need to switch this one okay Okay, well, I think uh, this uh, discussion is uh, very uh, long. I need to cut next meeting. We will continue, but stay, still stay. I need to wrap it up, but let's see if I, what I need to tell you before we go. Let's see. So, pinto, ilan ang pinto ng kotse? How many are cars, doors? How many the door of a car? How many the door of a car? That's bad. So, but if you would translate uh, the, the series of uh, words in Tagalog statement, you will come up with this. How many of the door? How many the door of car? So, that's why Filipinos uh, do bad English translation. Or also, like you would say, Google has bad English translation because of this, right? And if you belong to my group, Tagalog with Albine, private group, I pasted a link to a documentary film. What's the difference? How does East 
uh, communicate how do they uh, what is their focus what about the west what is the focus of the group of people in the west the completely different but we need to understand each other right it's nothing that uh, it doesn't mean that east is better or west is better no we must have to come together and understand each other like the west their focus is the noun we're in in, in the east us philippines uh, chinese japanese korean our focus is in the verb 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 right so this is what i like to that's why you know, there is such kind of cross core cars doors of the car something like that right next let's do yeah this is the format uh, remember ilan ang followed by noun which could be singular and then followed by plural and then ilan ang mga if you are thinking of plural plural thing and followed by a pronoun choose the pronoun appropriate pronoun ilan ang noun which is the subject and then nang and then noun object yes the word i presented to you using jam board jam board okay oh okay now it's the conclusion for now yes and we are and we are just on track and yeah whether i didn't need to cut this uh, presentation but for sure next time i will present more of ilan ilan so don't miss please come again next same time same day next week because i will present more of this ilan so uh, to wrap it up let's say i just presented the simplest way to ask how many in tagalog and also constructing ilan statement can be harder than that yes because you need to understand linkers to objects like nang <coughs> nang right and also yeah next meeting let's let, let's <coughs> let's look forward to more of this next meeting and po probably more jam board presentation for you <coughs> okay ilan requires a response pertaining to a number or count of things okay number uh last friday i presented to you how to count in tagalog but i was also messed up i was messed up because i was i keep on counting and counting but my screen doesn't show the the slides or, or maybe i will do it again it could be next week about numbers how to count in tagalog right and yes okay so what is this next conclusion another last conclusion and yes this is how we will have next meeting and thank you let me check your messages how many doors on the car oh thank you thank you baby for how many doors on the car that really is also i i'm learning english here how many doors okay later we will do that on jamboard how many that's why i need i need uh english english uh, audience please come over come with me so you help me with my english right yes how many doors on the car okay we'll do it later next week jamboard hi hi me thank you for coming and yes you enjoyed it you like it and thank you let me see let me switch chat screen yeah and thank you for coming so this is it and uh, what else what shall i say i'm sending love your way love healing protection i'm sending what whatever you need whatever you need in this time of difficulty i hope that you will get it we get it right and yeah please continue following me on facebook most especially i'm always like active on facebook i can um i can answer your questions in on face through facebook immediately group or on my page and yeah i'm also on instagram but 
these days I don't have much time but uh, later I will get, get back to Instagram but Instagram and Facebook are just one okay and thank you for coming mabuhay mabuhay hanggang sa muli <laughs>